What do cloud engineers do? My name is Broadus Palmer. I'm founder of Level Up in Tech, and my mission is to help you learn cloud, land a job, and make money. And I also wanted to create this video for number one, people who don't know what cloud engineers do. And number two, for those who may just be a little curious about the roles that they can pursue in the cloud. So my job is to explain it to you plain and simple so you can gather the info you need to make a better decision on if this role or others are right for you. So I'm going to use the analogy of building a home. And I'm sure a lot of you have gone through that experience, but if you haven't, I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from and easily digest this. All right. So what do cloud engineers do? So imagine you're building a house and you have architects who design the house, the blueprint, but you also need carpenters to actually build it. Carpenters put up the walls, they install the floors, they make sure everything is sturdy and functional. So in cloud computing, cloud engineers are like the carpenters of the cloud. All right, so, well, how are cloud engineers similar to carpenters in construction? <laughs> well, first, cloud, excuse me, first, carpenters uh, build and set up the structure of the house. And cloud engineers build and set up the structure of the cloud, right? They design and create the systems within a network that store and manage all of our data and applications. So when you look at a carpenter, what we're building or what they're building is a house, which is a network. And within that house, you want to store anything that you want to store. That's part of your vision from the sofas to the bed, to the TVs, to the type of pool, to the chairs, to the refrigerator, to whatever that is part of your vision of how you want your house to look. So that's the same thing. Essentially cloud engineers are doing are they're building the system based on the vision of the company that they are working for. All right. Now, carpenters, they organize and manage the materials, making sure everything is in the right place and working together. So just like that, cloud engineers organize and manage the cloud services or cloud resources. They make sure all the data and applications are stored correctly and can be accessed quickly whenever you need them. So in your house, you want your house to be functional, right? You don't want things to be all out of place. Uh, you know, if you have living room sofas, you don't want the living room sofas to be in the kitchen. You don't want the refrigerator to be in your bedroom. Some of you may, but you know, but I'm talking about its functionality. So you want to build your house so everything can be accessed as quickly as possible within the rooms that you're in and have some functionality to it. This is exactly what cloud engineers do. So carpenters also secure the house by making it safe and cloud engineers do the same thing in the cloud. They secure the cloud by protecting your data from hackers and other threats that, you know, can try to access things that you don't want them to have access to. And they do it through things like firewalls and encryptions. That's how they, you know, uh, protect your data and applications. So if you're thinking about building a home, you're thinking about, and we're going to get real right now. I want to just kind of give you a dose of reality. When you build in a home, the first thing that you're thinking about is security. Like, you know, security system. I want the locks here. I want, I don't want nobody to have access here. I want to be able to be safe because you don't want people to have access to your family. If you have some or, you know, pets or items, whatever the case that's in your network, in your house, that's the same thing in cloud, right? But the reality of it is, while a lot of people or a lot of companies have security on the strategy or the blueprint when it comes to actually kicking out the money for the right security, they typically don't kick out that money for the right security. They try to cut costs when security should be number one. When you build in your house, how you keep yourself secure should be number one. So it shouldn't be any type of budget that you can put on keeping yourself safe. But the reality is we do have a budget and we have to go with some cheaper items sometimes. And sometimes in cloud or even in tech, companies tend to do that. OK, so I just want to kind of give you a dose of reality. Now, if something breaks in the house, right, cloud engineers or excuse me, carpenters will fix it. OK, so 
when you're building a house, you have inspection points where if something was built wrong or something is not working properly or wasn't built right and it's cracking or whatever the case may be, the carpenters come through and fix it. And this is the same thing that cloud engineers do. All right. They troubleshoot and they fix any issues that come up in the cloud, like server crashes or network problems to keep everything running smoothly. So today we had a huge issue where we had a global IT outage. Microsoft House crashed today. Some of the systems in the house did not work. And unfortunately, a lot of people in that neighborhood depended on the resources in that house and their systems relied off it and could not work as well. So they had to have the carpenters come in and troubleshoot and fix and get these things up and running. So as they got things up and running in different sections of the house, different parts of the neighborhoods today are starting to run again. This is the same thing. You know, I'm using carpenters interchangeably with cloud engineers. They're cloud engineers had to come in, troubleshoot and fix the environments, fix the updates that was pushed through the software and make sure everyone was working again. Not sure at this time that of the day that they have everyone working, but some people are still on the go. All right. So I wanted to give you a, a simple outlook of what cloud engineers actually do every day and plain and simple so you can understand it from the analogy of building a house. All right. So now you have the understanding you can make a uh, informed decision of if this is the right type of role that you would like to work in or is there are there other types of roles that you would like to pursue. So share this with someone who may need this information. OK, and make sure if you are a person who's serious about trying to transition into cloud, we want to invite you to our community where we got free startup courses, free projects, live events, tons of content. Click the link of the Cloud Career Accelerator in the descriptions. But this serve as a starting point for you to understand how these jobs actually work. And you can easily digest it to be like, I got that. I really did. And thank you so much, Broadus. Hey, you are welcome. This is my job. I want to help you learn cloud, land a job, and make the bank. Okay. So let's continue to level up. If this is your first video, check out all my other videos as well. Let's continue to make progress every day. Progress equals profits. Okay. And that's going to help you land the bag, get the job, turn your career around. All right. Let's keep leveling up. I love you. Talk to you later.